Hello, my name is Youssef Marini. I have the pleasure to introduce two new features to enhance data security effectively at the granular level. Those features are row filters and column level masks. Users can leverage standard SQL functions to define row filters and column masks, enabling fine grained access controls at the level of individual rows and columns. Row filters allow you to apply a filter to a table that gets evaluated at runtime and only return rows that satisfy specific criteria within the filter. And column masking allows you to apply a mask to a column in a table that gets evaluated at runtime. Columns can be returned unmasked or masked depending on the filter definition criteria. Column level masks and row filters can be applied by creating a function and applying it to a table with an alter table statement, or the function can be defined and applied to a table in one step in the create table statement. Each column in a table can have a maximum of one column level mask defined, and each table can have a maximum of one row filter defined. In this example, I created the table that I filled with some data. Let me show you the table. So we have two roles, developer and a manager. The first thing I will do is to define my row filter. So I will create a function called permissions. And I will specify if the user who run the query is part of the group manager, then this user will be able to view all the table. Else, this user can only view two rows with the value developer. Once the function is created, we need to apply it to a table using the alter table command, set row filter, and of course, the name of the function. And now if I run this query again, because I'm not part of the group manager, I will only view the row developer. And for the mass, it's the same thing. We need to create a function that I did call salary MD5. I'm saying again, if I'm part of the group HR, then I will be able to view salary. Else, I will view the hashed column. And in, in this example, I am applying the function at the creation of the table. So I'm specifying that salary is going to be masked using the function salary underscore MD5. I'm doing some data insertion. And then I will query the table. To show you the result. And since I'm not part of the group HR, I'm unable to see the salary. And of course, you can still drop the mask if you want. And now I can run the query and I am able to view the salary. And you can also drop the row filter and I'll be able to view everything. Of course, this this oper this those two features give you the opportunity to grant the permission over some tables without displaying all the data that you have inside the tables. Thank you.